I think it's recording. I can't, I can't always tell, you know, if it's recording. I'm just, it's, um, you can't even, even always see the little red light. Or you think you can see it, and it's not, it's not really on. It should be on, though. Right, I'm just doing a little bit more of bumpy, bumpy um, videoing as I go along this well walk track now, which is going to take me all the way over to the trig point right over there. Oh, no, where is it? Gonna take me right the way over to the trig point. Meanwhile, I've got some beautiful countryside to accompany me. One minute I feel hot, you know, I feel it take my jumper off, and then another minute. And if we zoom in over there, we've got steep home, bring down, and um, flat home, look, with a lighthouse there. That's flat home, and just over the sea a bit. Steep home. And then back to Breen Down. Western Supermare. So they say about not videoing out from out here, but I'm getting views of Western from here. So I think that sort of counts. If you actually get Western in, right. So although there would be a quicker way for me to get back to Cheddar if I so wished, I could go back via the Tynings Farm route and um, Piney Sites. But because I thought I'd walk through Longwood, we're going the long way. And I won't, I don't usually do the, this particular walk that many times. Now, when I do it again, it'll be from the other direction. And it will be probably on another path, because I like to vary it. No, so you, don't, so you don't miss anything. I've never walked down that particular valley there. That takes you to the lower path. And there's ponies. There's ponies all down there. Lots of ponies. Wild ponies. It's absolutely gorgeous here, isn't it? Oh, and you can feel the pure air. I mean, I might be a bit wheezy at home, do you know? It must be to do with the dust in the flat and everything, which I don't know where it comes from, because I'm always dusting, getting the wet with the wet cloth, you know, and um, sometimes I just can't breathe in the place. But the moment I get out, either not always I have to come up here, I can go in my local wood. I just, I believe bathing with trees is, is true what the Japanese are doing. I've been saying it for years. I've been saying it for years. This has definitely got wider, you know, and they've built this gully to take away the water. This is this is this is, isn't even the main the main run. The main route will be running along over there. See, you can see where they've dug it all out. This is um, when I first started coming here. I can't remember how long ago now. It, 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 it could be seven, eight years ago. When I first started doing this walk. No, it'll probably be when I had the video cameras, yeah. 
It'd be from 2009 onwards. Over the last eight years then, eight or nine years, I've been coming up here. And this was hardly noticeable, this particular track here. It was a skinny little thing. And it wasn't all mud banks like this, which will grow over and they will look better soon. But they've done it for, for, for saving the rest of the land that they've done it to protect. Because you'll get a lot of, well, I say you get a lot of walkers. I rarely see anybody. Now, of course, I do tend to come out quieter times, I must admit. There's nothing worse than having to follow a group of 15. Do you know what I mean? Oh, no, I can't do that. I'm a lone walker and I like it. It doesn't bother me. But I do like going out with other people, but I can class it in a completely different category. It's like going to have dinner with people. It's a completely different thing. It's not a time for reflection at all. Group reflection, maybe. And it can become a chore. No, mainly if, if you've got someone with you and they're not enjoying the experience or, um, or you, do you know what I mean? For one reason or another, it, be, it becomes, um, something happens to make it change. That's why I like to keep the walks on myself, I mean, most of these sort of walks, because then I can't see them. It's like you fell out with anyone or, you know, Now in a minute we should be coming out by a junction and join the, what I call the spine of Buckdown. The spine of the area of outstanding beauty. We're still heading towards it at the moment. And, and um, Row Barrow is getting further and further away. Now our lovely walk by the stream, it didn't last long did it? It wasn't a long, lengthy walk, but I actually love going down there. I find water and woods very relaxing. This is very barren, but it's beautiful. These are where the ancestors, the ancient ancestors would have been. They've got burial mounds up here and all over, everywhere. And they would have sheltered in the valleys just like we do where we build our towns and hamlets and villages. We're not much different to them really. We've got to keep warm, we've got to eat. And then you've got all those um, other parts getting, you know, when you're young, getting old. Um, relationships, societies, rules, regulations. Um, and of course, like, you've got to have them in a way to control people because that is the problems with human beings. Um, we still have got that wild streak in us. And that goes from the big hairy tattoo man to the, the granny with the Zimmer frame. I mean, you know, it doesn't matter how you display your aggression or how old you are, you've still got it in you. Um, and um, doing things like exercise and sport it takes the pressure off, doesn't it? That's the thing. It takes the pressure off, lovey. Of course, once we get to the um, trig point, which isn't very far now, the walk actually speeds up. This big bit, what we've done so far, this is a, a big chunk that I've done coming up from Winscombe. It's a big chunk. And I'm doing longer videos. I've got the battery charger on. I didn't bring a spare camera, so I'm going to have to turn off in a minute to save the battery. I want some for Longwood. So that's happened to me before, you know. I've gone on down a big walk and then cameras pack up, batteries go flat. 
Right, there's the long processional route up to the trick point, which we're going to do now. Now, that's totally changed. That used to be like a huge trough. Very quagmire-ish. A bit like that, which hasn't been done. Wild and natural, that bit is there. Trophy. I quite like it like that as well. Of course, these will change, and you've got an alternative one if people want to go over to the fort or down to Barrington Coombe. And then if you go further in, you will get quagmire. You will get bog, if you follow that, for example. But this is, uh, it's to stop, it's preservation. I know it isn't the same as it used to be. And you've still got all these big mounds. But the thing is, it stops the public and the human destroying, especially the bicycle. But of course, a lot of bikes they like going, they like going rough. They might not want to. They rather go through that. See? Right, just zoom in. Then I'm going to turn off and do pictures. Zoom into the trick point. Every time I try to get on that trick point, the last couple of years, someone turns up on it. And they sort of stay there. And I bet you're alive. I'll get up there and someone will be on the other side. I can still take a picture. It's not the same when someone else is on it though. Let's go back that way. Back to Row Barrow. There's the trees sticking up there. Shadow's over there, Weston's over there, Bristol's over that way, Wells over there, trick point ahead, over and out.